Peace, power, and soul. Welcome back to the next nuclear radio show. I am your host, Zireus Razus on nuclear. Again, welcome back to the next nuclear radio show. I am your host, Zireus Razus on nuclear, leader of UNONC. Again, welcome back to the next nuclear radio show. I am your host, Zireus Razus nuclear, leader of the United Nations Next Nuclear. And today's topic is the soul collectors of the spirits. Again, today's topic is the soul collectors of the spirits. Again, today's topic topic is the soul collectors of the spirits the soul collectors of the spirits so let's get a a understanding on why the soul and the spirit are different so exactly um what is the soul by definition the soul according to google is in many religious philosophical and mythological traditions the soul is the incorporeal essence of a living being so You know, the soul or the psyche comprises the mental abilities of a living being. Reason, character, feeling, and consciousness. You know, qualia, memory, perception, thinking, you know. So your soul basically, and I mean, we represent the soul as bronze people. And these humans represent the people of the spirit. Now, we look up the word, what is spirit? Now, we I gave the definition of, of what soul was, you know. Ultimately, what I've always been talk to, talking about, what spirit, I mean, what soul is. Ultimately, you know, it's what we embody, that 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 fire, you know, ultimately logic and rational thinking people. You know, that That's us as these next new beings, the next nuclear moving forward. Um, and ultimately, you know, when it comes to spirit, you know, spirit is the non-physical part of a person, which is the seat of emotions, character. You know, they they try to put the soul, but, you know, ultimately those qualities regarded as the forming of the definitive or typical elements in the character of a person, nation or group or in a thought and attitude of a particular period. So ultimately, you know, when it comes to spirit, these humans embody the spirit. So ultimately, you know, when it comes down to, you know, us being around these people, you know, they're they're quite disturbed by soul people or by, by people who embody fire, who who take stand or as far as us being bronze people, you know, they are intimidated by us and just our aura and just just the way we are as people, you know, now that we're, you know, we're we're more in tune with who we are as this next Nubians and next nuclear or just, you know, next Nubians or next Nubian coming up, you know. They understand that as that being a threat. So, you know, ultimately we become the soul collectors of the spirits because, you know, we can ultimately, you know, take in their take in their spirit energy. You know, we could absorb their spirit energy and, you know, ultimately utilize it um, just like we would if if it would be direct current, because although it's alternative current, it it could still be what you say uh, absorbed in because it's it's ultimately just a watered down version of what, you know, ultimately, you know, what what our soul is. So just in fact, you know, as far as, you know, people would look at that as, oh, you know, being the Grim Reaper. Well, in, in, in essence, because what does the Grim Reaper do? He he collects souls and spirits pretty much, you know, for all the ones that are, you know, getting ready to pass off, you know, and that's what we're doing. The more these humans are dying off, you know, we're, we're getting a charge by way of them freeing up the planet of, you know, dead weight. So we are, in essence, you know, collecting soul, I mean, collecting spirits, spirit energy, as well as soul energy, you know, direct direct energy and alternative current because we act as the grounding energy so we can convert that direct current into basically alternative current or we can reverse it you know turn that alternative current in, into direct current right right to our body so ultimately being these um you know these collectors of spirits it, it works in many facets as far as energy changes as far as just you know who we are because you know we have to understand if, if we created these beings and they did like just a, a weaker version of us there is no fearing in and a creation that we created it's more or less we just have to just focus on you know focus on us at this point focusing on you know just that mindset and, and having that mindset is now more or less just um a a facet of just moving forward and you know knowing w- what you're capable of doing you know like i said the soul collectors of the spirits you know being able to you know us like I said, utilize and mitigate spirit energy. Spirit energy is, you know, what's you know, not really being talked about. People want to say that they, that they dabble with the spirits, you know, 
but ultimately, you know, that's, that's ultimately the spirits represent those demons or those low vibrational energies on the planet. Well, yeah, you know, we can manipulate low vibrational energy if we want to, but that's just like, you know, I mean, that's just if need be, if need be, we could. But we choose not to because we choose to channel in higher power. So, you know, spirit energy is the lowest of lowest energies that we can as soul beings, you know, channel in and, you know, convert to soul energy. So it, 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 that's why I said the soul collectors of the spirits because, because the spirit energy is, a, a, is an alternative fuel source. We can take in many, many fuel sources such as oxygen, such as the water, which is, which is, but those are very alternative and you know and then as well as you know when we, we, we could actually absorb the sunlight and eat from the sunlight just like these plants do so it's it's a you know deeper than just you know the title you know it's on a biological level you know we could basically ab ab absorb you know the energy that these so-called humans try to you know throw at us or you know they, they try to use against us by by way of their numbers but the thing is if we as these bright, bright bronze men and women came together in our numbers, you know, it would be just fire against water, ultimately. that That's exactly what it is at this point. You know, ultimately, you know, you see all of this just, um, you know, you see it. Fire versus water. You know, bronze versus the humans. The bronze collective versus the humans. Ultimately, it would be, you know, ultimately the white and the black the white and the black versus the bronze because because niggas, niggas just they they don't know they're gonna always side with the white people when it comes to seeing people like us trying to um you know do things that that are progressive so we have to kill them out so ultimately that that that's what happens when it becomes the soul collectors of spirits you know because we're collecting souls and spirits because if 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 it, if it comes down to actually having to you know reform everything in our favor the niggas got to go then niggas will have to go Niggas, niggas will have to go, you know, at this point, because it's just the point now where we're we're seeing, you know, our purpose. You know, we're seeing as a collective of UNONC, we are seeing just just the essence of just what we have to do, um, and you know, just just the breakdown, like I said, of us being able to take in, you know, that so-called water energy or that spirit energy. And in essence, just proves to us, just like I said, we are omni beings. You know, we could take in many, many, um, you know, say sources of energy here on this planet. Just more or less taking in um, spirit energy again. Just, just, just to be clear, you know, being soul collectors of spirits, meaning us being able to, you know, take in spirit energy or you know, c convert that water energy. AKA alternative current and, and basically, you know, utilizing it as a source of energy, knowing that it is, you know, not direct current, but it is alternative current, but it still has, you know, it still has the energy behind it. I mean, you just like, you know, any other energy source here, as far as us being able to, you know, breathe in, you know, oxygen as a fuel source, you know, being able to breathe, you know, that that's, those are different other, you know, you know, other to alternative, um, you know, fuel sources or energy sources, but the sun being number one, ultimately, because the soul rules this realm. The, well, the soul rules all realms, honestly, but it's just the point now, it's just, you know, the spirits rule because we are not in a collective. And that's why we can't be the soul collectors if we're not collectively within the same mind frame within the same you know direction and you know we cannot you know collect these spirits if we're not collectively within the same mind frame and moving on one accord you know we can't do that if if, if it's to the point where this where we're and this is going to my community you know we can't be you know unorganized or just i mean you know not together in a union or you know not together in ultimately you know just trying to um just come together collectively and moving forward because you know that that rift or that you know that clog will cause static within our transmission within our um you know transmuting our frequency our radio frequency statewide pretty much and that's just the point of us being these soul collectors of the spirits because you know we're we're in tune with, with a lot you know being at, at the, the the pinnacle or past this matrix that we are currently um you know currently 
in, you know, hypothetically in, but we're mentally out of it. <laughs> we're, we're physically in it, but we're mentally above this place right now. So there is no focusing, you know, and, and trying to look back. Nope. Because we're past this. Because there's nothing here. There's nothing here. There's nothing here pretty much for us to really look at because we, we know that our purpose is, you know, we keep the balance, you know, be, 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 I guess you would say the regeneration of these humans here act as a fuel source, you know, that, that juice, that, you know, that link into what was basically fueling this third dimension to move forward ultimately. Their souls, well, their spirits, excuse me, but souls and spirits, but lost souls and spirits fuel this third dimensional realm. They make it go into, you know, a regeneration, regenerating mean regenerating power within the spirit energies, the many spirit energies that have been locked into the planet. You know, ultimately, that's just that's the reason why we are the soul collectors, because we have these spirits, you know, I mean, we are the soul collectors of the spirits because these spirits are trapped here. They can never leave here. They're in what you call, you know, that eternal purgatory just trapped here. They, they ain't gonna never be able to get out. So that's why it's, you know, and they constantly keep feeling, they they keep feeling this, this, this energy on this planet. As far as, you know, when it comes to that moon, whenever that moon comes out, you know, all of that, you know, weird energy comes, comes into play. But, you know, nine times out of the 10, when the sun is out, you know, it's all direct, direct current, you know, and, you know, and, and just, just even still, like, like I mentioned before, just the fact that we on a biological level can absorb many different um, fuel sources that include water. Yep. That ultimately include water. But then direct sunlight has happened to be one of our newest, you know, what I wouldn't say newest discoveries, but we a lot of people haven't been haven't started putting it into a test up until recently. I mean. But we, we've noticed that we are fueled by direct sunlight, what they call osmosis or what they call um, what plants do. Photosynthesis is, is what it's called. Yeah. But they where they convert the sunlight into energy pretty much. So, you know, us being a soul so we can we can you know, ultimately, you know, collect simultaneously pull in soul energy and spirit energy at the same time. So it's like a, a duality. I mean amongst all dualities but it's more than just that on on all levels at this point we being omnipotent beings or you know everything connected to you know the nature you know being more in tune with nature than any other like people on the planet you know us being able to you know pull in all of this intel from the sun you know and like i said no intel from the, from the moon there's no intelligence on the moon. Once again, there is no intelligence on the moon. None whatsoever. Nothing on the moon. So, there's nothing that's propelling me to say that the energy is feeding me anything. No energy. No intelligence. Nothing. That's why the soul is stronger than the spirit. And see, with Western academia, with Western academia, you know, the definitions are skewed partially because they don't have an understanding of what soul is and what spirit truly is because they want to favor everything to be in them. I mean, as far as just the way, you know, the verbiage and, you know, the way the words are, you know, made out to be. But when you ultimately know what soul is, I mean, you felt soul before, you know, they, people want to skew it with spirit, but no, spirit is, is dead energy. Spirits, <laughs> what do you think spirits are? What do you think soul is? Soul is heat. Spirit is that dead water energy. Soul that is that, you know, energy, that, that fire, that what you have within your chest that, you know, you know, every time that but that we get get these upgrades, you know, we get that little tingling, hot feeling in our chest. That's what the soul is. The soul is, is being upgraded. That flame is getting hotter and hotter and burning within you. 
that's why when it comes to you know like i said mitigating spirit energy is, is nothing to it because we could evaporate it <laughs> we could evaporate the actual you know by way of heat evaporate spirit energy or convert it into like i said that alternative um to alternative state of um you know energy for us you know alternative current just by way of um you know definition and just by way of just like how we're able to basically breathe in carbon dioxide we basically breathe in the air and basically put out carbon dioxide pretty much you know converting the oxygen into carbon dioxide is ultimately just that <clears throat> just that example right then and there of you know what it really is to you know be a soul collector of the, of the spirits because we are multi multiple channelers of energy just by definition you know the soul can channel in almost it, it, it channels in practically all energies that come through the planet so that's just direct current all together you know coming down here the brightness is, is what we call it which is you know direct current brightness or you know intelligence coming down here you know like i said with spirits there is no intelligence that comes from from spirit energy because it it has nothing feed it, it doesn't have any constant source of of energy or intel feeding it but the sun which is a solar projector which propels energy outward is constantly being fed by outer g energy from multiple suns energy from you know outside of this you know earth realm but coming down here by way of the sun no that type of energy that that's intelligence because you know it's coming from multiple streams multiple sources outside of itself whereas the, like i said there's there's no like i said this moon whatever people want to say that moon energy doesn't you know it doesn't equate to us as people and you know so I said, you know, us being these soul collectors of, of the spirits, you know, just like I said, you know, there, there's a reason why that particular moon is known for, you know, drawing up spirit energy. Ultimately. Because that's that's feeding the planet, I guess, or it's feeding this planet in a way, I guess that's what the theory is with people from what I've heard. Or just basically from what I've seen, just like an amalgamation of, okay, yeah, that, that spirit energy makes these humans go crazy, you know, and it, for some of our people, some of some of the so-called black people that embody, you know, the spirit energy, you know, they get swayed to do things out of their character. They go crazy. You know, it's been, it's been proven, you know, there has been, you know, a lot of cases, a lot of scenarios out here. Um, yeah. So. Like I said, that spirit energy is not us. I don't, like I said, just based off the spirit energy, you know, spirits are, are, are dead. It's dead energy. The soul energy comes from the sun. You know, from, from what I'm now hearing, the sun is basically, you know, is both male and a female. You know, the moon, like I said, is a very obsolete very obsolete to have a moon you know as far as just what its purpose is the fact that it doesn't give off any energy and if it does it's low that you like the average so-called advanced being is not going to pick up on because it's low and unimportant you know when you're constantly being fed by the sun when you're constantly pulling in intel from the sun then it's like yeah you're going to pick up on a lot um, as far as intel information, see, there is no trying to, you know, be between, you know, you have to pick a side, either you with spirit energy or soul energy. And that soul, which represents the direct current, which is what grows the planet, which is what feeds the planet with diamonds and minerals. And, you know, all of these beautiful things, the moon doesn't feed the planet nothing. It doesn't feed the planet any energy. It, it doesn't provide it a heat source. It doesn't provide it intelligence for, to grow plants. So then again, like I said, on a logical standing point and not off belief, but on a logical standpoint, the soul is in what, what is in control of here on this planet. The dominant force is soul. So we are the soul collectors of spirits. We control, we control the spirit energy on the planet. 
ultimately if we were to get our minds in straight as a collective of bronze people we w- we could actually control these humans we could, we could control them you know in in just the way just of you know keeping law and order you know we could we could turn things around which we do which we will which is happening pretty soon it's happening pretty soon now because you know at this point there has to be a law and order restored back on this planet there has to be law and order restored back on this planet so we have the right and we have we have the we have the the will and the mindset to do it shifting forward moving forward now and next as these neutral next newbies and next nuclear and, and we're always moving forward on that on that notion because you know we're staying neutral you know we're, we're moving through this place you know constantly learning and constantly pulling in pulling in intel and, and, it, and it's now to a point where these just it's us, us being able to extend you know our mind bodies and souls us being able to extend you know to that further um you know further what you say uh void of knowledge you know that that like you know entering that void of um, extended knowledge now and next because we we've, we've been able to pull in you know more intel you know more insight on just being able to you know like I said, look into the future, you know, and not worry about this time period because this time period is already it's already passed. <laughs> we have to worry about walking into the future. Walking into the future means it could be a shift just like that. And then we're we're already in like a, you know, more hyper, you know, energetic, high defined, super um, you know, personification of a state, you know, moving to the way of, you know, just a way of one action, you know, one motion, you know, one decision to ultimately go, keep moving forward, you know, having to leave, you know, old situations to extend further and into your, you know, what you say, Godhood or Lordhood. <clears throat> that's just one of the things that have to happen. And that's what happened to a lot of us, you know, moving like down that particular uh, avenue, you know, having to extend our minds, you know, that means we have to grow. You know, we're, we're, we're growing as these bright mental giants. We're extending as these bright mental giants, as these um, soul collectors of the spirits. You know, we're channeling the spirit energy on this planet. You know, you know we can, you know, like I said, like let it, you know, convert it. We can convert it by, by way of, because the spirit energy is only water energy. So it's not like it's going to, like I said, it's just like us if we, if we drink. <laughs> If we basically absorbed or drank, you know, what you say, um, water, or or if you had like a gas mask on, feeding you that particular, you know, H two O, or just just feeding you just oxygen to your nose in general, you know, ultimately that that's kind of what the equivalent is, you know, you huffing or you know you basically you know pulling in fresh air, you know, from like a gas tank or something like that, or like you know, a fresh air tank. Ultimately, that's what the equivalent would be in so many words. But, you know, we're, we're moving forward, just, you know, extending our mind, body and souls and then you and on and see and we we see the purpose of what we have to keep doing. Um, and that's keep on, you know, expanding our intelligence, you know, keep getting our mind straight, you know, and, you know, and ultimately extending by, you know, by way of this direct current, you know, ultimately extending in, in you know, being the dominant, you know, you know, like I said, being a dominant um, law and order here on this planet, we, we represent, you know, this let's say dominant force or you know, dominant, um, you say, next beginning of the the bright bronze race ascension. You know that ultimate, you know, that that ultimate ascension um, forward, you know, upper and outer and forward. Down the timeline, past these humans, where these humans won't be able to keep up and catch up because we're going to be so far advanced, just by way of um, the mental and physical, just by way of us, you know, having these bright unions and bright mergers, extending by way of our bright minds, that that give our children, you know, a DNA leap or a DNA upgrade amongst all upgrades because we're staying within our own like you know dna pool you know and as far as just on just who we are bronze on bronze no mixing out
It's ultimately just that. Because that is what increases the soul force or that would increase just our ability to channel more spirit energy and, you know, utilize it, you know, to ultimately skyrocket or, you know, push up into higher dimensions and higher realms because we don't have to really use our soul force because we could use just enough spirit energy to give us that boost. And then from there, it's just, you know, our soul is, is what basically, will, which will, it, it will extend us further, further out by way of just, um, just the mental just by way of the mental and just by way of the, you know, the desire. But, you know, just, you know, being able to extend in the fourth dimension, ultimately, you know, getting there is ultimately just the, the very next step at this point. And we're we're on the basically, you know, the outskirts of it. We're, we're on the outskirts of the fourth dimension, knowing that we have this influence over the humans, knowing that we can, you know, basically you know convert their energy into you know usable energy for us or you know we could basically you know snatch their spirits or you know snatch their basically snatch the souls too like you know scorpion does you know off 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 you know mortal combat you know type 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 of you know mentality that's what it is at this point you know and that's how it's always been but we just we like i said people don't look at it like that or people don't think to the on this level Knowing that, you know, we are the dominant energy, you know, we can convert other energies um, from, say, what their recessive state or their alternative state and turn it into, you know, direct energy for us. You know, ultimately, just that mindset, you know, just that logic and, you know, rational, you know, just thinking. And, you know, just like I said, you just it, 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 it comes to a point now where where we just have to keep looking for um and knowing just you know it's just more or less just experimenting with, with spirit energy you know as far as you know people say oh experimenting with spirit energy what do you mean by that well as far as you know ultimately when you mean um what i mean by experimenting with soul energy or with spirit energy is you know just being able to use just ultimately the the remnants of just you know once that particular uh spirit uh or is you know within you know its point of being recharged as a new molecule we could absorb that as you know or you know i would say yeah you know be able to absorb it and you know use it as you know a viable source if I, well, I, I wouldn't even say that because it's not really that strong to be able to, you know, manipulate it. So it would take, you know, like I said, it, it takes a lot of spirit energy to run this third dimensional the way it is right now. So there, there are a lot of spirits locked in here or a lot of spirit energy locked in place here. So, yeah, just predominantly just us, um, you know, being able to. Like I said, you know, there is, you know, we could snatch the spirits out of these humans if we wanted to. Just by way of the essence, just by way of the energy that we put out, you know, we could literally snatch the spirits out of these humans. Or, you know, how they say, oh, you know, I can snatch this person's soul out. Well, reverse that and say, you know, we could snatch the spirits out of them. You know, we could drive those spirits out of them and basically kill them by way of just, you know, who we are and just just by, you know, telling them the truth as far as just the soul truth, the soul reality, who they are and, you know, where they come from. Because you could back it up, you know, we could back it up ultimately, you know, as these, um, you know, these soul collectors of the spirits. You know, you would and people would look at us as, like I said, the Grim Reaper or some type of, you know, that in, in essence, because, you know, we we can channel the energy on this planet. We we channel the good and the bad energy on this planet so that that's ultimately, you know, <laughs> whatever comes and goes on this planet. We have to be the ones to filter it so it doesn't throw off a, you know, imbalance into the atmosphere or, you know, a, a imbalance in this realm. Ultimately. <laughs> so us being able to channel in souls and channel in spirit energy that's ultimately what we embody 
as those mediators or those neutral next Nubians and next nuclear, those neutral grounding points, the ground energy that, you know, that we're coming into contact and feeling or, you know, being able to manipulate at this point. We begin to, you know, like I said, be in a neutral state of um, being, a neutral state of mind, you know, a neutral state of um, living and a neutral state of extending. Ultimately, that's what it boils down to um, now and next. That's what it boils down to now and next. Um, and just with that particular mindset, it's just we, 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 we see past the veil. You know, we're not even looking at this third dimensional realm no more. So we're just thinking, you know, and we're, we're, we're thinking outside of a, you know, limited um, and, you know, primitive what you say think tank you know it's an overcrowded think tank that we managed to crawl out of mentally and that we're crawling out physically and we're we're into the fourth dimensional you know and we're we're extending ourselves further along into, into the fourth dimension you know we're extending our mind bodies and souls into the fourth dimension at this point because there's nothing to give or invest ourselves into in the third dimension you know knowing that we can we we're controlling it effortlessly with our minds. We're controlling these shifts effortlessly with our minds, you know, and our souls, you know, by way of the sun. Where we're charging everything or, you know, we're being charged by the sun. Ultimately, you know, you know, as within, so without. So what's in so what's outside of us is also within us, pretty much. And we we just acknowledge that. And we're moving forward, you know, we're extending past all of this, um, you know. All the, the limiting mental, um, to say, mental cancers and mental viruses that plague the mind of people is really, really, you know, it's 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 it's, it's to the point now where you're just being around regular people that can extend on this mental plane or mental level of except it's for people who aren't a part of UNONC. It's just like. You know, people who can't extend to that mental level outside of community, you know, they're just, they're, they're looked at it as primitive dinosaurs, the primitive dinosaurs, because they can't understand or, you know, get anything that will be said or talked about or, you know, what just deep on some deep, like not even deep conversation, but just on some honest, just questioning and just thinking, you know, logic and rational thinking, just moving forward. We just have to um, keep extending our minds um, because that's all we can do. You know, there is no going back to you know primitive ways of thinking, primitive ways of acting. It's always extending. It's always extending to the future. It's always extending our mind, bodies, and souls into the future. You know, doing things to you know give us you know that it, what you say moving forward or you know that extension being able to extend you know upper and outerly you know upward forward you know up and down you know in all directions practically being able to mentally mentally extend you know which is which is mobility in the, the third dimension you know ment mental mobility you know that that's what we're going to call it mental mobility you know being able to you know, manipulate the, um, you know, the mind to, you know, adapt to all frequencies and all modes and all sets, you know, and all settings, you know, being able to switch, you know, how they say, you know, with so-called black people, you know, they're able to act white around so-called Caucasians, but then they can act like niggas in front of other so-called black people. Yeah. <laughs> Mental mobility, you know, <laughs> you know, you can switch, you know, play different parts. AKA, switch it up. <laughs> Ultimately, that's what it is. Um, but, you know, we're just focused. We're moving forward past all of this. Um, you know, moving forward and extending our mind, bodies, and souls as the soul collectors of the spirits. We're extending ourselves each day, extending our mind, bodies, and souls. We're just. Um, a learning experience at this point we're creating and we're learning and basically and also experimenting 
while ultimately experimenting and extending by way of the results, by way of, you know, without the inside influence of, you know, other thoughts, you know, and, you know, other people's opinions, because ultimately their opinions don't, you know, represent your opinions or my opinions. So it's just like, you know, what do you feel deep down inside? I mean, and what have I not heard from someone else? You know, just type of mentality, because we are always trying to get the, you know, get intel, fresh intel, you know, unbiased intel. Not not off base, not off belief, but off logic and rationale. I don't want the I don't want reality based off emotion, and that's how it, it has to be. It has to be straightforward, you know, cut and clear. There is no going around it, beating around the bush. No, no, that's just the way it is at this point, because you know the soul is direct. DC direct current, straightforward. You know, it, it has to be that way. There is no, you know, trying to, you know, fluff things up or, you know, make it look good and sound good. No. Give it raw until it's uncut. Raw and uncut. So, you know, furthermore, it's just um, breaking down um, just, like I said, you know, able to convert multiple um, energy sources as these um, omnipotent beings, you know, that water spirit will give us, you know, that boost of our, our ether nine. Because ultimately, you know, we can convert that water into a gas that will heat us up, that will give us direct current, that same kind of gas that the sun um is what keeps the sun, you know, ultimately doing what it does. That 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 particular gas, you know, or that particular, um, you know, that heat. That heat, ultimately, because you know the only reason why you know gas brings heat. Gas brings heat. So when when it's being heated by motion, and energy, and energy. Through motion, then it's you know you're going to get heat. You're going to get heat. That's why when we, you know, that's that's why it, it'll happen to us the exact same way, you know, because, you know, we're going to be just moving around, you know, with mobile, you know, mental mobility and also with, within the physical, you know, pulling in all the things in the environment, you know, and it's going to keep basically fueling us, you know, it's going to fuel our soul because we can absorb all energies, you know, and, you know, when we don't, you know, consider things a burden anymore and we just absorb things, you know, you know, we can absorb all types of things in the atmosphere, you know, as far as, you know, trying to clear up the atmosphere and all these chemtrails or, you know, with all of this harmful things within the atmosphere, we can clear it up by way of just um, using the mind and also really absorbing it up, you know, pulling it in, you know, so... With that being said, um, just moving forward.